an iPad or who can create a, a, a piece of technology that's going to be in the hands of, of, of every American in the, in the United States. I, and, and, and God rest his soul, I, I understand he passed away this week, but he created something that, that, that people, he, he talked about it years ago, 10, 15 years ago. He wanted to create something that, that Americans would, would be able to hold in their hand and take with them wherever they went. What did he do? He created it. He's not the only one that can do that. God can give you a vision as well and cause you. He has already given you the ability. He now can give you the, the vision. He can choose you for a season to create something that people are going to be using and talking about for the rest of their lives. Yes. How many of you got an eye anything? Come on, reach that. I ain't going An eye anything. Yeah, I got an iPad. I got an eye, eye touch. I got a map. Computer, I'm gonna get a, a, a iPhone. They keep messing around with me. I'm gonna get an iPhone. But this man created that. You have the ability to do the same thing. Don't let anybody tell you what you can't do. If you follow after God, if you're obedient to God, He will make you into a great nation. He will bless you and He will make your name great. And you will be a blessing. Not only to your family, not only to your church family, not only in your community, but you will be a blessing to the world. God wants to use you. That's why he needs you to get to the place where you can hear his voice. He needs you to get to the place where, where you have to rely on him. There's no other, no other source. There's no other way I can do what I need to do without relying on the voice of the Lord. I need to hear a word from him in order to make my next step. Yeah, that's me. That's me right now. I'm not doing anything without consulting God and saying, God, okay, bless my next step. Tell me what it needs to be. Tell me how I need to make it. If I need to sidestep. I need to sidestep. If I need to take a step forward, I'm going to take a step forward. If you tell me to take one step back because I'm getting ahead of you, I'll take a step back. But I never want to be at the place where I'm moving in my own volition and not under the anointing and the hand of God. Got to be obedient. Got to go where he tells you to go. I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to leave it right there for for. For today, because my battery just died. Well, I'm, I'm going to leave it right there. Just let that be a segue and a preview into next week's message. Uh, 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 it's in you. It's in you. Trust me, it's in you. Whatever, whatever you're going, whatever you're going through right now, you have been, you have been chosen for what you're going through. You have been blessed for what you're going through. God is going to get the glory out of your life, even though it seems like all hell is breaking loose around you. It might seem like all, all, uh, everybody's talking about you. Nobody, nobody's on your side. God is going to use this season of your life to be a blessing, but you've got to go through the season trusting and knowing that he is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you can ask, think, or imagine according to the power that he placed on the inside of each and every one of you. Get out of your comfort zone. Get out of the place where, you, where you're relying on what you're comfortable with and, and, and depending on what you're comfortable with and depending on those you're comfortable with and depending on your mom and your dad and your this and your that. Get out of that place and start following after God. God has something great that he wants to do in you and through you. But until you get to the place where you're willing to be uncomfortable. Mm. Man, Pastor, that sounds like an oxymoron. It's human nature for me to want to be comfortable. Matter of fact, my flesh always tries to do everything that feels good to it. Yeah, that's what your flesh does. That's, that's, that's why we have to deny the flesh every day. Uh, we, we, we have to deny the flesh every day because my flesh tells me, uh, uh, go and drink that. Go and smoke that. Go and say that. Go and do that. Go ahead. It's all right. God is a God of grace and forgiveness. 
That's what my flesh, my flesh will tell me that. God will forgive you if you slip up. Man, listen, I have to tell my flesh, shut up and sit down because the Spirit of God is in control here. I'm not going to cuss that man out. I'm not going to smoke that. I'm not going to drink that. I'm not going to do that. Those things are, are things that God delivered me from. You think I'm going to... Those things would no longer... Listen, <laughs> here's a funny thing. Uh, I told a story. I, I smoked... I, when I was in college, I smoked a, a, about a pack and a half of cigarettes a day. I'm, I'm ashamed of that. Um, but I did it. Uh, I smoked about a pack and a half of cigarettes a day um, for about three years of my, of my college career. And um, uh, when God delivered me from that instantaneously, like cold turkey, I mean, I just stopped. In April of 1994, I just stopped. Right? Now I can't even stand the smell of cigarettes. I don't care how faint the smell is. See, the thing, when, when God really delivers you from something, I'm, this is the last thing I'm going to say. When he really delivers you from something, be quiet, Jeff. When he really delivers you from something, even those things that you were comfortable with, like I was comfortable drinking, I was comfortable smoking, I was comfortable uh, 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 fornicating, I was comfortable doing all those worldly things. I was comfortable doing them. Those things make me the most uncomfortable now. Why? Because I've been delivered. So even though my flesh desires a, 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 a absolute current with a splash of cranberry every now and then, even though my, my flesh de de desires to have a, a smoke or, or desires to have a, 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 a whatever it love to have, even though it desires to listen to some of the things I used to listen to, because of the spirit in me, it's no longer comfortable to me. So I don't do it anymore. I don't say the things I used to say. I don't go to the places I used to go to. When I go now, I go with a different motive. See, I used to go to the club to, to get it on, you know, shake it out. Get on the dance floor, work it out, you know what I mean? I shut the club down. But now if I go to a club, and, and I'm going to recruit some of y'all to go with me, but now if I go to a club, we're going to sit outside. And we're going to hand out tracks when they're coming out the club because they need, even in the club, they need to know that Jesus is on the outside waiting for them. Jesus is on the outside looking for them. They need to understand that God is with them even while they're in the club. He wants them. He's wooing them. He's calling them. He wants to use them for his purpose. So even if, if, if it's... If it's comfortable for your flesh right now and you haven't been delivered from it, I'm going to pray right now that God will make everything that is not like him uncomfortable in your life from now on. That's going to be my prayer. Amen. Y'all get something out of that this morning? Get out, get out, from your, get out from your comfort zone. Come on, follow after God. Trust him. Believe him. Know that he's going to do it in your life. Come on, stand to your feet.